Hey guys, Dave at Fitness Devolution. Short video today featuring Miria. This is her first opportunity to do the fight flow workout. And I want to remind everyone, Miria's been with us now about oh, three or four months and she could not squat, couldn't really bend over very far. And she has come so far in such a short period of time. And she took most of the month of July off to go to Belgium, lucky thing. Anyway, this is a tough workout and it's going to serve as a baseline. And she'll be able to look at her performance uh, as she goes forward and compare it to kind of where she started on this workout. Uh, diagonal bridge, she's good. She's up on the shoulders. She's got some hip drive going on there. I like to see that. Uh, transitions are where this workout really gets you. The individual movements are challenging, but almost every other movement you're changing from the ground to standing to hopping to the ground to standing, etc. So you're expending lots of energy transitioning. And as you get better and stronger and you get more core power, you transition more efficiently. The goal is to not be bracing on your hand or your knee as you're going up or down. And all of those things will come with time. So not criticizing. Miri is doing an amazing job. The hopping, I mean, she's hopping great. Uh, better than I am, really, almost. Uh, so I think maybe go up a few pounds on the kettlebell deadlift. And uh, she's well on her way with the fight flow workout. So you see in that transition there, that was excellent. No hands touched the ground and really no knee touched the ground. She just very gracefully uh, rolled into that deck squat. Excellent job. Jumping jacks are looking good. Good form there, good energy. I should also mention at this point that this is round number eight of this workout. This is not the first round. So at this point, everybody is kind of toast and uh, in fact it was our last round we didn't finish today part, partly because Lisa and I were whipped from yesterday and partly because this is Miria's first day and I don't want to just destroy her so she's doing a little bit of an adjusted uh, Hindu push-up there it's just a basic push-up on knees that's totally fine her Hindu squats looked pretty good until the last one a little bit of collapse Look at those mountain climbers. Uh, nothing to be ashamed of there. Very nice. Jumped it in at the end. And it's worth noting, Miria could barely support her weight on her hands. Deep squats getting better and better. Uh, it's a little shaky, but hey, she's exhausted at this point. The core is done. This is basically going on sheer willpower at this point. Strong hopping. Got to give her credit for the hops. Good form on the bag. Get the butt a little bit lower. Nice transition. Oops. Almost got up. No hands. That was a very good effort there, Miria. Jumping jacks looking good. Let's see if on the deadlift how this form looks here. I'm trying to get the butt down, it's hard. Yeah, not so bad. Not so bad. We'll work on that. A little bit of a hand down for that, that's okay. At least she's keeping the hips up. So obviously this workout simulates uh, some of the exertion and the movement of 
a fight, whether it's MMA or karate or a real fight for your life. The purpose here is to get you stressed, both physically and mentally. So this is a super intense metabolic conditioning workout. It has a few skills involved, but otherwise, I think Miria and everyone will benefit from this type of workout. Get a sandbag, get a couple of kettlebells, get up off your butt, and get moving.